You should have in your possession a travel pack which gives you all the details required for your journey along the Autobahn corridor. You do not need to worry about the trip. If you listen carefully to this brief, it will give you all the details that you require. You will also, of course, be in possession of the travel pack throughout your journey. You will travel along a 103-mile route through East Germany. This is the only road that the Allies may use to travel into West Berlin. At the start and finish of the journey, all Allied travelers are subject to identity check by Soviet soldiers at Soviet Checkpoint Alpha and Bravo. Before going to the Soviet Checkpoint, at one end, and after leaving the Soviet checkpoint at the other end, you are required to stop at the appropriate Allied checkpoint, either Allied Alpha or Bravo. On being cleared by RMP to leave the Allied checkpoint, you travel to the Soviet checkpoint along the following route. As you leave the Allied checkpoint car park, turn right onto the Autobahn. You are advised to set your trip meter to assist you with your navigation. Take care of lorries and cars coming from your left. Move into the left-hand lane, which is clearly marked military. Stay in this lane, obeying all speed limits and traffic signs. Pass the East German crash barrier under a sign gantry up to an East German barrier. Stop and wait for the barrier to be raised. Once the barrier is raised, move forward, crossing the autobahn that comes from your right. Traffic from your right should give way, but take care as this does not always happen. Pass the first Soviet barrier, move into the right-hand lane and halt at the stop sign outside the Soviet checkpoint building before the zebra crossing. The checkpoint should be manned by Soviet soldiers who look like this. If the checkpoint is manned by East German soldiers who look like this, you should either return to the Allied checkpoint or demand to see a Soviet officer. If you are prevented from returning or a Soviet officer does not arrive, you should remain where you are until RMP come to assist you. When stopped at the zebra crossing, the person you have nominated takes the travel and identity documents. Do not take any other documents or your travel pack with you. Approach the Soviet sentry, who will be standing close to the small hut on the left of the road. He will salute you. You must, irrespective of your sex, status or form of dress, return his salute. Hand your travel and identity documents to him. He will check your documents and, once satisfied as to their accuracy, will return them to you and indicate that you take them to the checkpoint office. On entering the building, you will see on the right-hand side, about waist-high, a document tray similar to those in banks, only the glass has been painted over. Place your travel and identity documents in the tray. They will be taken by a Soviet officer or soldier for checking. When the Soviets have finished this check, the documents will be returned to the tray. Take them and check that all ID cards and passports have been returned and that passports have not been stamped. If they have, return to the Allied checkpoint. Also check that the travel document has been stamped by the Soviet official. Return to the Soviet sentry and hand the travel and identity documents to him. He will check the Soviet stamp and return all documents to you and indicate that you may continue your journey. He will again salute you. Return his salute and return to your car and proceed. As you move forward, the sentry will give his final salute, which must be returned. As you approach the barrier, it will rise. Cross the junction. Beware of traffic from your right. Observing all speed limit and road signs, continue to the end of the checkpoint area, where you will see this sign. You are now on the open autobahn. Note, the maximum permissible speed for a car on the East German autobahn is 100 kilometers per hour, and heavy goods vehicles or cars with caravan or trailer is 80 kilometers per hour. Do not exceed these speed limits, or any other lower speed limit you encounter. Obey all road signs. 
We acknowledge East German traffic regulations, although only accept Soviet authority. En route, you will pass numerous laybys, such as the one you can now see. You may stop at any of these to stretch your legs or rest. But if there are any East German police, or Soviet or East German soldiers in the layby or any enter it whilst you're there, you must move out. You will pass four Rastatten during your journey, such as the one shown here. You must not stop at or use any of these Rastatten. At kilometer stone 81, you will cross the Elbe River. The next focal point is Zizar at kilometer stone 43, the halfway point between Helmstedt and Berlin. At kilometer stone point 5, you will come to the first of three intersections you must negotiate. This is 79.5 miles from Helmstedt. Follow the signs, black on yellow, Transit West Berlin. At kilometer stone 99, you will come to the second intersection, again following the black on yellow sign, Transit West Berlin. At this intersection, go straight on. Beware of traffic from your left as you join the next autobahn. At kilometer stone 88, you come to the third and final intersection. Follow black on yellow sign Transit West Berlin. You have now negotiated all three intersections. From here, it is a straight run to the checkpoint area. The approach is well signed. Move into the military lane as soon as possible. You will come to a short barrier. When this is fully raised, move forward to the Soviet checkpoint barrier. Stop and wait for it to be raised. Don't be alarmed if this takes several minutes. Once the barrier has been raised, move forward to the position indicated by the Soviet sentry before the zebra crossing. The nominated person only gets out of the car with travel and ID documents only. Carry out the same procedure as at the first Soviet checkpoint. The checkpoint office is on the left hand side of the road. As you pass the final Soviet barrier, Take great care to watch for traffic from the left. Keep in the military lane, passing the East German pressure barrier to Allied checkpoint Bravo. Park in the Allied car park, 30 meters short of the checkpoint. If this car park is full, you may park against the curb, but make sure you do not obstruct the Allied lane. Take your BTD, travel pack, and speedometer reading to the RMP NCO at Allied Checkpoint Bravo. That is through the door marked Allied Checkpoint Bravo and up the stairs. Report any occurrences or incidents to the RMP NCO. There are certain things you should know about corridor travel. Do not take your travel pack into the Soviet checkpoint building. Only those persons listed on your BTD, freight document or attached nominal roll may travel in your vehicle. 
Photography is forbidden between Allied checkpoints. Keep cameras, binoculars, etc. out of sight. If you are in difficulties, an RMP patrol will commence searching for you after five hours. Breakdowns. A tow may be accepted from other Allied travelers. If you choose not to accept a tow or cannot get one, follow this procedure. Turn to part five of your travel pack. Take out and complete the breakdown card as fully as possible. Make sure the travel pack number is entered on the card. Stop a West German or Allied traveler. You can use the Union Jack at 5C to make yourself obvious. Give them the breakdown card. Wait for recovery. Do not move, even if you repair the fault. Ensure you place out a warning triangle. If you are involved in a road traffic accident, do the following. Minor accidents. Exchange particulars, make a quick sketch plan, and proceed. For major accidents, carry out the breakdown procedure. Do not make any statements to the East German police. Do not allow injured Allied persons to be removed by Soviet or GDR ambulance unless absolutely necessary. If necessary, request the presence of a Soviet officer using the incident card. RMP NCOs will come to your assistance. In cases of other incidents during your journey, and if you are stopped by GDR officials for any reason, do not pay fines or tolls. Do not allow them to search your vehicle or person. Do not admit liability for any offence. Request the presence of a Soviet officer. If not allowed to proceed, stop an Allied traveller and send a message to the nearest checkpoint. In military vehicles, show no identity documents. In BFG vehicles, display your BTD at the window. If a Soviet officer arrives, you may show him your BTD, freight documents and identity documents. You may pay a fine, but have the receipt signed or countersigned by him. If in doubt, wait for the RMP patrol to find you. All of this information is contained in part one of your travel pack. We wish you a safe journey to Berlin. There now follows a short statement concerning security. West Berlin is unique. It is the only location where servicemen and UK-based civilians traveling to and from the city by road have direct face-to-face -face contact with the Soviet military personnel. It is therefore vital that any attempt to engage you in a conversation or trading for military items be reported to the checkpoint NCO at the end of your journey. Should you be spoken to by a Soviet or East German national in English or in a language you both understand at any time during your journey through East Germany, you must do the following. Remember as much detail about the conversation as you can, as well as the physical description, dress and rank of the individual. Remain non-committal throughout and do not agree to anything. Do not become overly nervous or aggressive. Once it is realized that you are not responding, you'll be left alone. And remember, you only attract attention to yourself by speaking in Russian to the Soviet checkpoint personnel. So don't do it. If you are approached at all during your journey, you must report the incident to the RMP checkpoint NCO.
and complete the short performer provided. Be assured, your journey will not be delayed in any way. If you're in doubt, then ask the RMP Checkpoint NCO for assistance. Please, help us to help you.